assalamu alaikum everyone uh, this is something that i am feeling uh, you know the need of this time to inform you about the uh, process of appearing in paper 1 where we used to study about uh, uh, different topics of writing right now i have chosen descriptive writing for you so this is how i'm going to start this is something that kind of reminder though i have spoken already about a lot the pattern and everything still i have mentioned the score and this number of paper for you so that you can have a complete idea that actually what are you going to continue with so writing is like i have concern over here that i need to inform you about and then we have descriptive writing over here that we are going to take as a topic apart from you know that you have narrative writing you have argument writing right now i have chosen descriptive writing for you to give you the reminder so the how you are going to start with so the point is the first of all you need to you need to take this thing that 30 marks you are going to get in your uh, descriptive writing where word count would be around like 4 to 500 that you will be dealing with this is the word count that you need to work out so these are the external uh, you know the uh, uh, preparation for you you need to prepare yourself for that you are going to start and then since something about we will talk about the structure so as far as this o level is concerned o level whenever they speak about whenever they speak about descriptive writing they have something on the top to say about verb and then adverb and then adjective so this is how this is kind of reminder for you that these three elements they have taken from your part of speech apart from you have to discuss with is metaphor and simile so what i just want to say that this is like consistency that i have created in this lecture for you that you are going to deal this thing with the reference of these major things that uh, endorse in every book of cambridge system that you have in your hand they are going to talk about you need to follow these elements whenever you are going to plan for your composition having to, uh, having topic of descriptive writing obviously right now and 4455 words uh, this is something is your target now let me talk about the structure before you start your structure these five elements very much uh, important for you to keep in your mind and this is how we are going to start at itself the descriptive writing it could be the description of any character it could be the description of any place let me remind you whenever you talk about these two element to describe you should not forget that somehow you are focusing your story as well this is only uh, actually the demand of story writing as well to describe your character and place so somehow the double benefit you will get once you are going to achieve this descriptive writing techniques uh, in your uh, writing practice so now uh, the point is that uh, the usage of verb adverb and adjectives guys over here this this is something you need to be informed about very much the type of adverbs are going to play a vital role and the type of adjectives are going to play a vital role in your descriptive writing and this is how the element of like if you say plus so this is something when you plus in uh, i mean these two major things this is how you will give the senses to your reader in your composition the senses of could be it could be that the touch the smell is sight these elements would be required and to enhance these senses obviously the things would be required would be the good usage of vocabulary and when you say vocabulary ultimately i'll turn over over here and i will discuss these elements that is verb adverb and adjective that you will be using uh powerfully to make your composition is like just like a picture so i will connect my word and i'll circulate this is something that i'll continue with this discussion about that how to create picture in readers mind via your description let me remind you let me repeat that this is how you will establish i mean the picture of the particular description in your readers mind for that you have to use these techniques very important for you to note down picture obviously picture is something that if for example you have described uh, you know uh, if it is like you have described the place so place would be 
is like crowded okay if i just write like bees okay if i say like busy like bees so the crowd over there you will not say the word crowd you will use the simile over here to describe you we use the simile over here to describe the crowd so whenever you see your 1123 paper 1 writing it says you should not speak about you should not tell about you need to describe you need to understand the difference between to how to tell or how to describe if you want to know the difference between again i'll move over here then when you use these tools in your descriptive writing this is something that sounds that it is not something that you are telling it is something you are describing for that you you will be presenting yourself for that 30 marks in front of your examiner and side by side you have to be very much careful for your word count that i have already mentioned over here so if it is place you are going to mention this thing in this way just little example with the blue that i have given let me give you the example of over here let's suppose the character you will easily bifurcate with this blue the character if we are going to describe obviously you will describe your character as per the attribute okay if let's suppose with the reference of this marketplace that you are going to describe you will describe different play, uh, people over there uh, this is something i'm going to say about right now the characters doesn't mean the story obviously so the characters over there that you will describe you will describe their appearance okay you will describe your appearance and then you will describe their actions and whenever i say the word action you you should recall with the word adverb and this is something if i write actions you will definitely would like to describe the actions with the help of adverb so continuously these five tools which o level system introduces while introduces descriptive writing is going to work out throughout if you notice so very quickly very um, you know minutely we are discussing everything so that you should not have the time to think about uh, okay what we are going to do so the kind of repetition is there for you so then what areas you need to focus and in what way this is something so the character and place again let me remind that i have taken two example where you will describe with the help of uh, i mean these tools over there that you will be working with so the uh, appearance and then actions this is how you will use the remaining things uh, apart from this you will discuss let's suppose weather for weather if you are going to describe the weather you will not say it's raining for example you will say clouds were crying if you use the word crying so it this is how you have personified the clouds because we all know this is the human attribute human cries not the clouds not any other elements but if you are making this thing ultimately you have touched this thing metaphor okay but let me remind you that over here i have used the word personified so this is how we can say one of the figurative elements is personification so let me take this metaphor in a broad perspective that when you will use metaphor you can use personifications as well to make your writing more attractive so the conclusion over here at this stage that i'll make for you is that all the time you have to make your writing so attractive for the reader so that the person can have the picture so the person can have the picture in uh, in his mind this is something what we say uh, the throughout the things that we say that picture is a worth of thousand words that obviously you are going to create with the help of these tools that let me remind you that i am key saying these are the tools if you are going to skip these obviously uh, they have the proper marking scheme over there you are not going to be entertained in that way and you will suffer that you need to uh, fight for these 30 marks mm -hmm. so the clouds were crying and it was cloud sorry it was 
it was black smoke all over obviously you all are very much interested in your fictional writing this is how you will give the touch of the fictional writing i mean you will provide the kind of entertainment in terms of this fiction if you are going to describe any of the character or the uh, i mean the places where you are going to describe the weather so the black smoke all over maybe you want to translate this idea obviously that something was uh, uh, i mean it was not sunny it was so much cloudy so the smoke the word would be there uh, to describe the things in this way and you will be again using the similes and metaphor let me remind you at this stage for one thing that if i am keep taking these tools for you as like major elements to describe anything over their character plays or whatever does not mean that in every line you will put these element and you will be conscious for no let me remind you that basically this is writing when it comes with the writing your tenses write quantity of the tenses as per the situation if it is like could be present it could be past uh, sorry uh, future and then obviously it could be the present so let me take this portion over here to describe that if you are dealing with any of the writing tenses in your o levels going to play a vital role to enhance the writing skills so the usage of tenses should be should be having the variety it could be past it could be sorry present and it could be future so the variety of the tenses obviously we all love variety if there is something uniformity would be there we will be bored your examiner your reader will be bored so in the with the help of these tenses the language construction would be there the language usage would be having this kind of variety there would be uh, you know the vital role of apart from this let me remind you the usage of this preposition uh, when you see your marking scheme in depth you will be marked with the correct uh, use of language when you say the word correct use of language it comes out with this preposition usage as well so very important for you to use the proper preposition whatever the things that you are going to describe so at this stage again let me remind you that if you are going to write you need to have all necessary requirement as far as this o level senior one is concerned o level is concerned and then this is something from since from your early classes you are learning tenses you are learning prepositions to make your writing more attractive and more meaningful for your examiner this is how we say we will use the uh, the variety of tenses and prepositions let me say one more thing the usage of modal verb the modal verb would be word could should that was this would be the another type of variety of the verb that you will give in your writing and this is how as far as the language usage is concerned these element would be there these element would be there to enhance your writing so to achieve these marks with this word count when you are using these items in terms of vocabulary jo ki maine yahan pehle mention kiya tha i have mentioned it earlier that vocabulary okay let me circle in vocabulary side by side these elements how the fusion of these element you are going to put and this is how you will create the picture in your readers mind and last but not least your spellings if you are not sure for any spelling don't use it don't use extraordinary adjectives extraordinary vocabulary don't make it so harder don't take this impression uh, that if i'll write something like the new vocabulary that has just been introduced in any oxford dictionary that would give the very good impact to the examiner's mind it's very false you know the understanding if you have in your mind so don't go with use moderate vocabulary easy to understand so that you could be having proper uh i mean the time usage because for this paper you have around 45 minutes let me tell you this thing let me say that let me remind you because we are keep discussing this thing 
so the 45 minutes time you are going to consume your silk completely in this way uh, this is something for the composition and obviously if it is one hour 35 minutes time you have for this paper one you have directed writing as well so secure time very smartly uh, very uh, like you should be very much intelligent when you are using all the elements in this way in this particular time to gain this uh, to 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 gain these marks with the uh, with the with the good respect with the good attention of achieving the um, word count the required word count that board itself has given it is very important to just remind yourself being a student all the time that we are not going to do anything what we has we what, what we have not been taught what we have not been given in the syllabi of your cie very important for you to keep these things that i have mentioned in a in a way okay so this is something very important this is something very important for you to understand and design your things in this way